she basically told me that I was uh, exposed to uh, bodily fluids as a result of them not sterilizing medical equipment. I was exposed uh, potentially to hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV. Tonight, Nine is investigating a potential exposure to viruses that could change a local man's life and his family's life forever. He says that he had a urology procedure at Atrium Health about mm -hmm. a year ago, but the hospital didn't let him know about the potential exposure until just this week. Yeah, we've uncovered he may not be the only patient that this has happened to. Channel 9's Hannah Getz has spent the last two days investigating this, and she's live for us tonight. And Hannah, this man got tested and just received the results of that test today. Yeah, that man called me this afternoon, relieved to tell me that his test came back negative, but he feels he's not in the clear just yet after finding out what exactly he was exposed to during a medical procedure one year ago. I was exposed uh, potentially to hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV. This man, who asked us not to show his face, tells us Tuesday morning started out like any other until he received a call from the Atrium Health Urology Kenilworth office. He says he was told that he was potentially exposed to HIV and hepatitis B or C a year ago during a procedure because of equipment not being properly sanitized. And after that, they didn't answer any more of my questions. His Atrium Health chart says he was notified of exposure to potentially hazardous body fluids. Now he is worried not only for himself, but his wife and baby girl who was born this year couldn't sleep. I still hadn't slept much since. We reached out to the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services. We received an email stating NCDHHS was notified of this possible infection control breach on October 27th and discussed the situation with Atrium Health and all other questions should be directed to Atrium Health. Like I said, I, who else is going to test positive, you know, and I want to make sure that, you know, they they actually know that they need to go get tested. This father now wants someone to be held accountable and is using his voice to help any others who have been impacted. That's exactly what I'm trying to do is, you know, get the word out there and be a voice for them and, and see, you know, make sure everything gets done the right way. We reached out to Atrium Health with a number of questions and received this statement back at 3 p.m. today stating that during a recent quality assurance audit, Atrium Health discovered certain cleaning and sanitization logs were not accurately kept within the urology practice. They go on to say they are reaching out to patients who may be affected and are taking necessary steps to prevent it from happening again. We still don't know how many patients have been impacted or if any tested positive for those listed diseases, but we are working to get those answers. Live in Dilworth, Hannah Getz, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. An important alert for local families. Thank you.